Gardening in glass containers is not a new fad. The Victorian parlor abounded in sunshine jars and fern cases. Now the swift pace of contemporary life and growing preponderance of apartment dwelling has brought forth a boon in this worryless, waterless form of gardening. Many nurseries feature lecture demonstrations on terrarium planting and care for the do-it-yourself group. Before we get into the actual planting, I'll show you a few of the containers that you can use. It's a matter of your own judgment and how much patience and work you want to go into. We have, for instance, like the big 20-gallon water bottles. These are really a challenge. Uh, these were acid bottles at one time. You can normally collect these if you go down to Canton and this sort of places. So always be on the lookout for new types of containers and different colors and this sort of thing. Here's one, a three-tier, which actually could be done either as three separate terrariums or it could be made to have the center ones of just to float flowers in. A camellia bloom, a hibiscus floated in this would be very attractive. Here's a five-gallon water bottle. You can find these in any of your uh, grocery stores and this sort of thing for you. They charge about three dollars deposit on the bottle. It's well worth it to collect that. Of course, some of the finer glassware that you get into are like your apples, like this, your pears. This is the new one, the little plum. And of course, your big bubbles like this with your lids. Now, of course, the terrarium is a container that has a closed top on it or one that can be sealed. Dish gardens would be things like you would use for your brandy inhalers and this sort of thing that you're going to do mainly cactus and succulents on this order. So you want to be sure that if you do want to do a cactus garden or a succulent or to mix the two, that you make sure that the container will be open for those because they do like to be on the dry side. They don't like to have the humidity. You see the moisture that's forming on the side of the bottles here. Your cactus and succulents cannot take that much moisture. Here, for a nice little gift for somebody in a hospital, here's a real tiny one. Of course, you could do wine bottles. You could do apple cider bottles, just anything. Use your own imagination and just... Terrariums are found in every shape container imaginable and in every price range, some unimaginable, depending on how much of a woodland or cactus landscape you care to observe. Three-foot bottles are perhaps the largest and costliest containers, selling for about thirty-five fifty sans soil and plants. If you'd rather leave the job to your nursery, add approximately fifteen fifty for planting charges in the larger bottles. Small to medium empty containers range from $6.99 to $16.50. Pre-planted terrariums are not guaranteed despite the high cost. So even if you choose a professional planting, there's a great possibility of decaying foliage and moldy soil, the results of overwatering. If you survive these adversities, you're well on the way to creating a thing of beauty.